Hey guys, Nick here. Thanks for coming by. Uh, guys, I know it's been a couple of weeks uh, late coming, but uh, this is the last of the four-part series of the warning signs of liver disease. Guys, I made these last because these are kind of some of the ones that are a little bit less common, uh, a little bit harder to nail down because they can be symptoms of other things as well, but they're just some things to keep an eye on. So, um, if you haven't checked out parts one through three they are on the channel just uh scroll down through the content and it's just the top 20 warning signs of liver disease so let's go ahead and knock out the last five um number 16 is is kind of funny bad breath um guys when your liver enzymes get all out of whack it can give you kind of a uh, metallic uh, regular metallic taste in your mouth feels like you've been sucking on a mouthful of pennies um, guys, that happens when your liver enzymes start getting out of whack, uh, usually when they start spiking up. Um, not so much when they're low, but when they're spiking up high, that can be a, a big sign. So if you're um, suddenly experiencing bad breath, even when you brush your teeth and, you know, wash your mouth out and all that stuff, just something to kind of keep an eye on. Um, number 17 is regular sleep disturbance. Guys, I know that all of us, you know, or I say all of us, most of us have trouble sleeping in one way or another. Um, it's not always a sign of uh, liver disease, but I know that with me and with a lot of other people that I've been, uh, that I've talked to over the past couple of years, that regular sleep disturbance, uh, falling asleep, staying asleep is a big, big warning sign. Um, so keep an eye out on that. Um, number 18 uh, is Britter fingernails. Uh, guys, when your, uh, when your body levels and whatnot just start getting out of whack, um, your fingernails can either stop growing completely or they can get very, very brittle. That was a big thing with me. Toenails as well, but especially my fingernails. Uh, my fingernails seemed like they didn't grow at all for about a year. Uh, that's, a, you know, another big uh, warning sign to keep an eye out that maybe, uh, you know, maybe something, you know, just isn't quite right. So talk to your doctor about that if you uh, begin to notice that as a, as a side effect that you may be experiencing. Um, number 19, this is something that you're only going to see if they do an ultrasound on you and if they're looking for other things, but an enlarged spleen. Guys, when you start having a uh, scarring in your liver, blood doesn't flow through, through the uh, liver very well through your portal vein the way that it's supposed to. Side effect of that is the blood kind of starts getting backed up and your spleen gets enlarged. So if you start having uh, pain in kind of the center part of your abdomen right around the diaphragm, um, that's where your spleen's located. So that can be a, uh, a sign that maybe you need to get something checked out. If you notice, you know, a, you know, some swelling in that area, uh, it's that's a good indicator that your spleen may be enlarged. It doesn't necessarily hurt, but it's more of a visual thing. So if you start feeling around your abdomen and you feel kind of a hard knot, uh, that's uh, that's something that you may want to follow up on. And, uh, you know, just be be cautious of there. Finally, the last one, and this is one that's not fun to talk about, is impotence or a lack of sex drive. Um, guys, I'm not sure why this happens, but uh, in multiple uh, reputable medical sites that I've researched, Mayo Clinic, Vanderbilt, um, several others, you know, say that the lack of sex drive is, a, um, is an unfortunate side effect of liver disease. Guys, your liver does a ton when it comes to hormone regulation and things like that. So when your hormones get out of whack, your sex drive gets out of whack and usually not in a good way. Uh, that can be a little bit embarrassing to bring up. It's not always a sign of liver disease, probably not necessarily a sign of uh, liver disease. It's very obvious, but it is something to, uh, to keep an eye on and follow up with if you notice a sudden change. Uh, everything, everybody changes with age and everyone changes differently, but that is unfortunately a, um, a warning sign to keep an eye out of. Guys, I really appreciate you spending time with me on these videos. Um, like I said, I started off uh, with the warm through uh, 15 with kind of the major, major signs. These are kind of just some little things to keep an eye on. So I hope you've gotten some benefit out of these videos. Uh, I enjoy doing the research on them. I'm a nerd like that. I enjoy researching stuff. Um, and so it always, uh, it helps me just to get reassurance. And, uh, you know, these places that I've gone, like I said, are... 
uh, the Mayo Clinic in Vanderbilt and um, uh, San Jacinto. You know, it's a very, very, very reputable uh, medical facilities and research centers that uh, that study the stuff. So, guys, I'm interested to see um, if you have any other symptoms that uh, I may have missed on these. Uh, really interested to hear what you guys had to say, guys. This is a um, this is a community that we all we all depend on each other because, as we know, cirrhosis is not a very fun thing to talk about. Not a whole lot of people do talk about it. So. Um, remember to like and subscribe to the channel and um, I'll have more content coming soon. Talk to you guys later.